One of Connecticut's most familiar faces is in his last week of a 42-year career. Lieutenant Paul Vance of the Connecticut State Police is now headed into retirement. News 8's anchor Scott McDonald sat down with Lieutenant Vance for a closer look at his career. Inside his office at State Police Traffic Services, boxes are packed. Awards like Top Cop and Certificates of Appreciation are all stacked up. That was me. Oh, wow. About 100 pounds lighter. Pictures from days on the job spending four decades. Way back when. And that, was, that was actually at a, at a crash scene. Over his long career, Lieutenant Paul Vance has worked in many different capacities for the Connecticut State Police. The hose from the tailpipe going to the interior of the car. But most recognized for his time in front of the camera. It's almost like a crossword puzzle, putting a puzzle back together. As the state police public information officer. I came into the position of the media relations specialist for the department blind as a new kid on the block. Vance says he's had to learn on the job, balancing the pressure from media for information and also the integrity of the investigation. But always making sure that the public knew that if there was something uh, that was going to endanger them, that they were made aware of it instantaneously. In his post, Vance was accessible to reporters. It was a good foundation. It was something we worked at. It was like a marriage. I mean, you work at it. The job put him front and center for major moments in Connecticut history. Interviewing witnesses, family members. Including one of the nation's most devastating tragedies. And this is a horrific crime. This is a very, very difficult thing for everybody. During the Sandy Hook shootings, Vance was the face providing heartbreaking updates as millions of people from all around the world watched. That's uh, a memory that uh, is, is very difficult for everybody, uh, not just myself, but everyone that was involved. Um, and, and, and there were many over the years. It's a job he handled with sensitivity and care. I asked him if he ever felt pressure during those moments with every major news network on hand. What I always thought about was uh, I, I may have been the one that was standing there, but I was not the one doing the work. The men and women of this agency were doing the work, were conducting the investigations, were beating the bushes, were the boots on the ground, if you will. I had the honor, and I always felt it was an honor, to speak about what they were doing. For Vance, the job has come with some dark days, but also lighthearted moments. I'll let a secret out now because I'm, I'm getting ready to go, but there were, there were times when I'd be sitting at a desk or, or during an interview uh, with, my, with my shirt on and, and my hat on if it was appropriate, and uh, I might have shorts and flip-flops on. Um, but it was this, this was to get the message out, to let people know that it was an official message. Uh, well, I, I actually was caught, if you will, by a former governor uh, who happened to be driving by and said to his driver, stop. <laughs> I want to talk to that trooper because that's exactly what I had on. In retirement, the man considered by many as the face of the Connecticut State Police will still be out and about in the state that he served for 42 years. But from now on, without the hat. I'm not going away. I'll, I'll, I'll still be around. I'll get involved in public service in some way, shape, or form. I'm, I'm certainly uh, uh, too young to sit in a rocking chair, so that's not going to happen. And I'm not a very good painter, so my wife won't have me paint. Scott McDonald, News 8.